You always want to question authority. What you're doing and what I'm doing as an investigative reporter is to hold institutions and powerful individuals accountable for their actions. How could this happen? Why did it happen? Who was responsible? Not just what happened, not just when it happened, not just where it happened, but how it could happen, why it happened, and who was responsible. I think uh, people have to look at uh, the larger systems that are at work and the role that specific individuals are playing. Data is obviously key to stories, so is phone calls and door knocks, and sometimes if your newspaper or your media outlet has the resources, send the lawyers in. You know, we sent lawyers to unseal court records and we were successful in court, and that was a key piece of what we did. Now, so much more is available online, but that means that even smaller outlets can do a massive amount of work based on public documents and sometimes not public documents, it can be gotten online. So I think there's still there's still great work for smaller outlets to do. Investigative reporting sounds glamorous and oftentimes it's very monotonous and tedious. We learn that. And you hope that the monotony and tedium leads to something worthwhile. But I think that's it, is that you just decide how much work is worth putting into this one project and you have to have made the calculation that we think this is going to pay off in the end. And in our case it did.